Hi, how are you? I hope you're all having a wonderful blessed day today. And um, um, I'm here to, to send a message and I'm going to pray right now, okay? Lord, I just pray that you will forgive me for all of my sins today and wash my mind and my body and my spirit man clean. I pray that you will use my mouth and that all the words are your words in Jesus name. Thank God and amen and amen and amen. Okay, so today we're talking about sin and it's yucky and then we don't want to be found with any sin on us, right? Amen. Okay, Proverbs 3, 11, 12. My son, do not despise, despise the Lord's discipline and do not resent his rebuke because the Lord disciplines those he loves. And as a father, the son delights in. Repent, and then turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing come from the Lord. Amen? Romans 4, 24. When God counted Abraham as righteous, it wasn't just for Abraham's benefit. It was recorded for our benefit to assuring us that God will also count us righteous if we believe in him. The one who raised Jesus, our Lord, from the dead. Hallelujah for that. Romans 5, 8. But God showed his love towards us. And that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Thank you, Lord, for dying for us. And... Um, we're so ever grateful for that and humbled by it. And I pray that everyone can go to the throne at your feet and repent quickly, swiftly, even if it's for a bad look or a bad thought or anything that is not of the fruit of the Spirit, it's usually sin. Amen. So today, um, I just thank God that he has a sense of humor. Um, he had me make a um, garbage basket, okay? Because garbage basket is kind of boring and, you know, it's just a garbage basket, right? So he had me make a basket that he designed. And I'm sure that there are many that other people have designed, but he made this one especially for me, okay? So here it is. And it glorifies the Lord because when we sin, he washes our sins away, doesn't he? So he's, he, he has a sense of humor. This only costs like four bucks to make. And um, all I did was buy these little Home Depot painting sticks. I got two packages for $2.00. And obviously, some jute from the Dollar Tree. And it took around three bunches. And then this flower wood, the bottom, the piece of wood, it looks like a flower. So I can't, kind of made it pretty. And then I made the cross, which kind of came from the Dollar Tree as well. Okay? So, this is how... one that I'm making right now and I think it's backwards I don't know let me turn this around oh maybe it doesn't work but anyway it says welcome trash bye bye so you know when we when we throw away our garbage right when we throw away our garbage we don't really think anything of it but now it's going to be a good reminder for me that when I take out the garbage or I throw any garbage away into the garbage can, right? I'm going to ask Jesus to forgive me for every garbage that I put in that trash can. I'm going to ask and it will remind me throughout the day. Because we throw away a lot of garbage, don't we, Americans? <laughs> anyway, 
So what I do is very simple, and I know you guys are so smart, and you know how to do it. So what I did was just glued the edges, and I got this little board at the Dollar Tree, and glue the edges, and then we take the jute. I gotta do the front part. I won't do the front part today, but um, I mean, right now, I'll finish it later. But what I do is just take the glue, the jute, I'm sorry, go around it like this. I know when it comes to the Bible um, and the Word of God, it's not easy. It's not the one of the most favorite subjects that we like to talk about is our sin. But we all fall short of the glory of God, don't we? Because there's so many distractions and worrisome things and just people can get on our nerves. I mean, it's just so much distractions that will that Satan will use as a trap to get us to sin. But this is why I ask him every day to beat off the flesh off me so that I don't sin. Because I don't want to have to keep on coming back every 10 minutes and apologize to the Lord for, for sinning against somebody or him, especially to him. Because it hurts him more than it does me um, or someone else. Um, so I just hope that, that we as followers of Christ are able to let go of the pride and let us confess to one another um, our shortcomings because then it can help somebody else with their walk when we confess. Hey, I'm having a really hard time with anger or, you know, I need to really ask God to deliver me of anger issues and impatience. And so this is the, these are the examples. If we can confess and really be honest that when we sin, we might have a problem, a sin problem, uh, but God can deliver it from us fully. Just like when we deliver and take out this garbage to the main garbage can, God can deliver us truly so that we live with the fruits of the Spirit. Amen? And so that's my goal. I want to be able to be really found spotless. I really do want to be found with no sin on me when he comes or when we get lifted up on out of here. Um, but sin really does separate us from the Lord because we know the second that we sin. We do. We know it. We have to take full responsibility for sin and... We have to do a lot of rebuking. We do, because Satan's at large trying to trip us up, and he tries to steal our joy, and we just can't have that, can we? So anyway, I hope that this blessed you. I hope that, um, that we really, as Christians, are really getting it right with the Lord, because I know that he is really coming soon. I know that. I feel it in my spirit, man. And I'm sure that all of you feel the darkness. Really. So we need to really get it right and ask God to always convict us so that we can apologize swiftly and so that we can forgive quickly. Amen? And then, once we do that, then I'll tell you, God will bless it. God will bless us with finances and he will bless us abundantly with joy and that's where I want to be amen so I pray that you had a really wonderful day today and um, and I'll see you soon okay God bless bye bye